Hi, and welcome to this section of the tutor where we're going to talk about adding, subtracting, and multiplying decimals. In the last section, we've introduced what decimal place value is, and in this section of the course, we're going to talk about how do you add numbers that have decimals, how do you subtract them, how do you multiply them, and then we're going to save division for, an, for another lesson, okay? So let's go in and let's say, what, what would you say if you had um, a problem like 7.6, 7.6, that's a decimal, plus 8.2. Okay, 7 plus 6 plus uh, 8.2. Well, the good news is adding, subtracting, and multiplying decimals are very, very similar to what we've already done in adding and subtracting and multiplying numbers. So there's not going to be that many examples here because it's going to be almost exactly the same thing. I'm just going to teach you a couple of rules along the way. You're going to do the same thing you always do. You're going to add, you're going to line these things up on top of each other. And you're going to go ahead and keep your decimal points here as well. What you want to do, okay, is you want to line these decimal points up one on top of each other. Okay? So you're going to write the numbers on top of each other, you're going to line your decimals up. Okay? And then after that, you're going to basically add, uh, you're going to basically add just like you always add. So that's why I say it's going to be almost exactly the same. So we're going to start in the right hand column like we always do. 6 plus 2 is going to give you 8, right? And 8 plus 7 is going to give you 15. So you put 15. Okay? So you have 8 and you have this 15. Now, the only thing you have to realize with decimals is when you add them, you line the decimal up, and all you do is you take that decimal and you drag it right down. Okay? So the answer is 15.8. So literally, it is exactly the same thing as what you've done before. You add your numbers, and then when you're done, you take that decimal point that you have in your problem, which you've lined up, and you just pop it down there. Nothing special, nothing hard, okay? What if you had something like 18.2 uh, plus 9.8? So again, you say 18.2, 9.8. You line your decimals up, and you put your numbers one on top of the other. And then you go ahead and add just like you would always add, okay? Eight plus 2 gives you 10, but 10 is too big of a number to write down here because I have other values here, so I'm going to put the 1 up in the next column up on the top, just like before. Nothing has different. Nothing has changed, okay? 8 plus 1 is going to give me 9, plus another 9 is going to give me 18, so I put an 8 down there, and again, I need to carry my 1 over to the next column, okay? Like this. And then finally, 1 plus 1 gives me 2. Okay, And the final thing is, whenever you finish a problem, you take your decimals that you've lined up and you drag it down and you put it right between there. So this literally is exactly the same methodology, exactly the same steps as in the previous section when we started adding numbers. Start in the right column, carry as you, as you need to. Here we had uh, 1 plus 8 plus 9 gave us 18. We had to carry a 1 and then we write our final number down. And when we're done, we take the decimal and we pop it down there and we don't do anything differently. So 28.0 is going to be the answer, okay? It's going to do a couple more here with addition and subtraction because it really is so similar. What if you have 13.4 minus 11.2? So you're going to do the same thing that you always do. You're going to write the big number on the top and the smaller number underneath it, and you're going to line these decimal points up one underneath the other, okay? And then you're going to subtract. Start in the right column. 4 minus 2 is going to give me 2. 3 minus 1 is going to give me 2. And 1 minus 1 gives you 0, but you don't need to write that because that's a leading 0 here. You never have to write those down. And then you just take your decimals, which are right here, and you drag it down. You put one right between these two numbers. 2.2 .2 is the answer. And when you think about it, this kind of makes sense because it's 13.4, which is somewhere around 13, and 11.2, which is somewhere around 11. So you know that 13 minus 11 is 2, so the answer is going to be somewhere around 2, and it turns out the answer is 2.2, .2, which is just a little bit more than 2, okay? So it kind of makes sense, okay? The last addition and subtraction problem I'm going to do is going to be, what if you had 20... 9.5 minus 3.1, okay? And so you would write 
just like always, the bigger number on the top, 29.5 on the top, and then 3.1 on the bottom, and you're going to subtract them. And you line these decimals up. That's what you do, okay? Start in the right column. 5 minus 1 gives me 4. 9 minus 3 is going to give you 6. And 2 minus 0 is going to give you 2. And just like before, you take this decimal point, you drag it down, and you put it in between. So you have 29.5 minus 3.1 gives you 26.4, and you just take that decimal point and you drag it down, and that makes a lot of sense because you started with 29.5, and, and, uh, which is t roughly 29, and you have 3.1 you're subtracting off, so you know that 29 minus, uh, minus 3 is going to be around 26 or so, okay? Now you've got these decimals here, and so it's not quite exactly equal to 26, it's 26.4, so the answer kind of makes sense, okay? Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to multiply decimals. We've done adding and subtracting. We've only done a few problems because adding and subtracting decimals really is exactly the same as what you already know. Okay, You just have to line those decimals up and drag it down into your final answer. Now we're going to go ahead and do a couple of multiplication problems, which are going to be almost just as easy. Okay, We're going to do a couple problems. It's almost exactly what you already know. It's pretty easy. So what if you had a problem like 3.2 times 2.4 and you're going to multiply those together. Well, you just write the problem the same way that you usually do. 3.2 and 2.4 and you're going to multiply. Okay. Now, for now, whenever you go ahead and do this, just like in the addition and subtraction problems, just ignore the decimal. Just don't even worry about the decimal until the end of the problem. Okay. So let's do that. How would we multiply if these decimals weren't here at all? Okay, we've done tons of problems like that. You would say 4 times 2 is going to give you 8. Okay, 3 times 4 is going to give you 12. And we're going to move over to this digit, so we're going to have to put a 0 here. 2 times 2 is going to give us 4. And 2 times 3 is going to give us 6. Okay, so we've done all the multiplication the same way that we would have done it before, which we've done lots of problems in the past sections. Now we're going to add these up. 8 plus 0 is going to give us 8. 2 plus 4 is going to give us 6, and 1 plus 6 is going to give us 7. Okay, so we've done the problem exactly as we usually do. We haven't even looked at the decimals. Now here's the only difference, the only difference between what you know and what the decimals do, and what the decimals bring to the table. All you do when you're done doing the multiplication is you look in the original problem and you count how many digits after the decimals do you have. Here's one. Here's 2. Okay? If this had another no number here, it would be 1, 2, 3. Okay? If this one had you know, something like, like this, it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay? Mm -hmm. None of those are there, so we don't have to worry about that. So we have 1, 2. Okay? Two decimals. So then you start at the right of your answer, and you go left. 1, 2. And you put your decimal here. 7.68 is the answer. Okay? 7.68 is the answer. So notice it's a little bit different. When you add and subtract, you line the decimals up and then you just drag the decimal down. Here, you do the multiplication exactly as you usually do, but then you count the decimals up behind the, the decimal point and you move left this many times from the right. One, two, seven point six eight is the answer. Okay, we're gonna do one more problem to multiply decimals, and that's just because they're 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 very, very similar to what you already know. What if you had 4.25 times 5.1? Okay, two decimals multiplied together. How would you do that? Well, you go ahead and write 4.25 on the top, and then you can go ahead and write 5.1 on the bottom. Now, notice it's not needed, you, you, it's not necessary to line the decimals up when you're multiplying them. You can just kind of write them over, you can line the numbers up, and you can just kind of put your decimal. You don't need to line them up because you're not going to drag that decimal down to the bottom like you do when you add them and just subtract them, okay? So let's go ahead and multiply and see where it takes us. 5 times 1, 1 times 5 is going to be 5. 1 times 2 is going to be 2. 1 times 4 is going to give me 4. So, so far not too bad. Let's move to the other column. And because I'm going to do that, I'm going to put a zero here. 5 times 5 is 25. So 25 is too big to write down, so I'm just going to put a 5. And I'm going to carry my 2 up to the top of the other column. 
Now, 5 times 2 is 10, but you're going to add 2 more, which is going to give you 12. So I'm going to put a 2 here and carry my 1 again up here because I have to write 5 times 2 is 10 plus 2 is 12. So I put the 2 and I carry the 1. Now, 5 times 4 gives me 20, but i got to add my 1, so that's going to give me 21. So I do the multiplication exactly as if there's no decimals here anywhere. Okay. Now I just add up. 5 plus 0 gives me 5. 2 plus 5 gives me 7. 4 plus 2 gives me 6. 1 plus 0 gives me 1. 2 plus 0 gives me 2. Okay. So I have 2, 1, 6, 7, 5 on the bottom. And then I haven't done anything with the decimals yet. But just like before, all you have to do is count how many digits total in your problem do you have. 1, 2, 3. Okay, here's 2 from this number and 1 over here. If you had some more digits out here, you'd have to count them up. 1, 2, 3. So then you just start at the right-hand side and go left three places. 1, 2, 3. So then you put your decimal point there. And the answer that you're going to get is 21.675, okay? So when you're multiplying decimals, it's really easy. You just write the problem down and just forget the decimals are even there. Multiply just like you always do, okay? And then when you get your final answer, count the number of decimal places you have in the problem and just move left that many places. Put your decimal down and then that will be your answer.